I think it's reflective of quite a wider issue that is in politics. It's not necessarily unique to the Tory party. Um, and I think any young woman in politics will tell you that they receive as much sexism from the other side of uh, the political spe spectrum that they sit on. And it really was a disgusting comment and it really did get a lot of people backed up, you know, quite deservedly, really. Uh, a, a disgusting comment, Kate, how it may have been, but should the Speaker be getting involved? Kate Howey. Uh, the Speaker? No, I, th I think it's ridiculous, the Speaker. I mean, I don't mind him writing a letter, but I think, quite honestly, it's nonsense if he's trying to say that... Um, you know, uh, journalists can't write things. I mean, no one, no one has to read them. You don't have to believe it. I mean, you don't believe half the stuff we read in the newspapers anyway. Uh, and I just think the whole thing has been such a ludicrous story. You know, anyone who knows anything about the House of Commons uh, and knows particularly about Prime Minister's questions uh, is that, you know, people are concentrating, and certainly the Prime Minister is concentrating on... Keir Starmer and what he's going to ask him next and what he should be saying and the people all around him, the idea. And, and you know, poor Angela Rayner. I mean, if she wants to cross her legs, fine. I mean, people do all sorts of things. It reminds me a little bit of when I was in Ghana recently and I met the Asantahini. And one of the rules is that when you sit there, you're not allowed to cross your legs. You genuinely are not. And honestly, it was so difficult to sit there completely calm and not, not move my legs. So I think the whole thing's a storm and a teacup. Absolute nonsense. And I think the Speaker should not really be getting involved in this at all.